men. What do you hate about other men? I hate the guys who drink and try to fight everybody, including their own friends. A friend of my brother got drunk then got angry and shot my brother because he thought my brother was hitting on his wife. This happened last Friday. My brother survived and is still in the hospital. That guy is currently in jail. So his wife is available now. Friend. Yeah. I don't think that applies anymore. If you get that kind of temper because of alcohol, why do you even drink in the first place? If everyone could stop pissing on the floor in front of the urinal, that would be a fine great. This is why I check if my shoes are tied before I walk into the bathroom. Laces are too absorbent. We are trying to make a more efficient bathroom. If we all keep pissing from further back as the floor gets wetter, we'll eventually only have to open the door. Piss on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Ah, and it's in my head all night. They are not pissing on the floor directly. It's hours and hours of slipping dick back into pants drips accumulating into a puddle. I just figured this out recently. When my roommate walks around the house with his balls hanging out of his pajamas to establish dominance. Get a nerf gun. Now you have target practice. And if he still doesn't stop, step it up to airsoft. That's called hamster time. Hamtero time. F him and the A. It's not gay. If it's for dominance, it's not gay. If you scream no homo, repeatedly while doing it. When guys comment on girls facebook pics with idiotic crap like wow sexy, hey beautiful, and other things that reek of desperate on. Reminds me of slash r slash god hiled, slash r slash s gone wild says. What can I yell out the passenger side of my best friend's ride to get a girl to be interested in me? Especially when the girl they comment those things on is a bot. What if the guys commenting are bots too? Reaching out to their own kind. You don't know me, them. Come on guys. Flinching just means flinching. Stop lunging at me from 5 inches away. It doesn't actually mean anything, except that you're an a-hole. They are sizing you up, and having reflexes means that you will easily lose in a fight. Wait. I remember my older brother pretending to throw slash pass a basketball at me from a very close distance only to laugh. When I flinched, I then did it to him, except I actually let it go. I laughed when he didn't flinch. He always acted so dang tough. I never got why not using reflexes is seen as tough. They want you to stand firm so when they do finally go for it, they get a clean sucker punch in. It's weird because you think it'd be considered smart to block a potential hit. Why give a free shot? It doesn't make sense logically, because a punch from any grown man would hurt, but a punch from a little kid wouldn't hurt. So what I think happens when one does not flinch is that it projects the illusion that you're so masculine slash powerful slash tough slash whatever that an attack from some dude is the equivalent to being punched by a kid. I had a co-worker that loved to be a macho dick. He did the ha you flinched one day. I seen a fist come out of nowhere and I hit him in the jaw. He starts whining and asked why. Sorry, you swung at me. I hit you. He tells the boss and my boss makes him go home for the day. He probably doesn't play the flinch game anymore. He sounds like a refined toddler. I worked with a guy that liked to play the dick flick game. The first time, I told him very politely that I don't participate. He did it again. So I waited about half an hour and then punched him in the dick. He never did try to play with me anymore. We were bouncers. So it wasn't your normal work environment. Accidentally punch them. I have accidentally. No really. I honestly didn't mean to. Punched a guy who lunged at me from really close trying to make me flinch. Well, he made my whole body flinch. And part of my body lurked up and smacked him in the face. I hate how some guys turn around and look me in the eye when I'm about to finish. Relevant username. Men who constantly bash their entire gender to try and impress women with how different they are. If you're trying to be not like other men to get late you are exactly like other men. Not being a total douche isn't some kind of valiant rebellion against your darker nature and society's expectations. It's just being a decent person and most of us pull it off without constantly having to remind everyone how much worse we could act. I feel like this is the male counterpart to the I'm not like other girls. I only have guy friends. All girls are catty bs. Girl. I hate the guys that are so judgmental about how attractive women look, yet they themselves are ugly mothers. There are no hot chicks around here. Where are they all at? You shut the f up you ain't a jalapa know yourself dicksnet. Got a buddy who always bs about being single, but he's just such a big prick. 
that he never stops to consider the negative aspects of his personality, use buddy very lightly. Men that treat their girlfriends slash wives likes just because they can, and they know they are not gonna leave them. I'm not talking about straight domestic abuse, but just being a refined jerk, I mean. Sometimes couples can fight and have a bad day, but I have seen guys straight humiliating and pushing their partners like they were petty subordinates instead of a lover and a friend. Domestic abuse isn't just physical, it can be verbal, emotional, physical, financial. It can take the form of public humiliation, unless it's part of a consensual kink thing, unwanted physical contact, sexual or otherwise. For instance, pushing, hitting, slapping, grabbing body parts, etc. From the linked website, domestic violence and emotional abuse are behaviors used by one person in a relationship to control the other. Partners may be married or not married, heterosexual, gay, or lesbian, living together, separated or dating. Examples of abuse include, name calling or put downs keeping a partner from contacting their family or friends withholding money stopping a partner from getting or keeping a job actual, or threatened physical harm sexual assault stalking intimidation. Violence can be criminal, and includes physical assault, hitting, pushing, shoving, etc. Sexual abuse, unwanted or forced sexual activity, and stalking, although emotional, psychological and financial abuse are not criminal behaviors. They are forms of abuse, and can lead to criminal violence. Everything is a dick measuring contest, yeah I just don't even bother wearing pants anymore. Really, how much time do I have, and how many dicks do I have to measure to win? That a lot of them can grow a full beard without childish visible patches i so wish i could grow a full glorious beard but every time i try my face just ends up looking like a peach that shit self just grow a thin mustache those are in i'm 31 and my beard is 14. trust me man not everyone wants your girlfriend calm down killer what did you just say 1 vs 1 so my girlfriend is ugly bro dude bruh bruh guys who hate their wives they act like it's normal to hate being married or something, but it sounds miserable. My wife is my best friend. I can't imagine it any other way. Dudes who can't fend for themselves when it comes to domestic duties, learn how to cook a couple meals, clean a toilet, turn on a vacuum, and develop some other simple homemaking tendencies. Cooking is not hard to get into, and it isn't going to suddenly make you less of a man. If you know how to do it, you get to play with knives and fire. If you are in the middle of nowhere you might be able to actually not starve to death. Also people generally like it when you cook for them. Lol the worst is when these types of guys are proud of this sh My woman does all that sh I have no idea how to turn on a stove. Haha. <laughs> Let's go drink beer and look at my truck. I'm not sure if this is common with other guys, but some guys whom you've never met, who you just pass on the street, will look at you like they want an excuse to beat the shout of you. Maybe that rage they have for their boss, their stepfather, whatever is suddenly, and potentially me. I think most women would be shocked to know how many guys walk around with real rage issues ready to become unhinged at the first slight to their machismo. The surest way to work up a crusade in favor of some good cause is to promise people they will have a chance of maltreating someone. To be able to destroy with good conscience. To be able to behave badly and call your bad behavior righteous indignation this is the height of psychological luxury. The most delicious of moral treats. Aldous Huxley, I'm a Cranian and former marine and generally walk around with an angry face or unemotional face. But I'm a teddy bear, resting butch face. My vision is getting poor and I squint more now I've been wondering if people think I'm hating on them. When I really just can't see sh There is a guy who I was friends with in elementary school before moving. A couple years back he added my on Facebook. The only reason I'm still friends with him is to get inside the mind of this kind of man. On a news story about a home invasion he comments things like I would have just blown his brains out. He frequently posts about guns and his willingness to use them. He seems to be anxiously waiting for the day he sees a crime in progress, so he can shoot and kill the perpetrator. It is amazing and terrifying that these are the things he posts online let alone thinks. It's people like this that imagine they will be the hero in a situation, but their overzealousness can lead to huge errors in judgment. You hear about it on the news all the time accidental shootings in the home. 
I remember one where a guy's daughter snuck her boyfriend into the house the dad heard a noise and her daughter denied having someone over so dad grabbed his gun to investigate and shot her boyfriend dead assuming he was an intruder. The importance we place on sexual conquest and sexual boasting in general. You don't need to constantly remind us of that one time you convinced someone to touch your dick. Quite honestly this is the core of most of the issues that guys take with other guys in this topic. Alpha male bullsh, cat calling, unsolicited dick pics, being a real man, while women are encouraged to not be slutty, while simultaneously being told to look sexy, men are constantly encouraged to have sex as much as possible to assert their own worth and masculinity doesn't matter, had sex, the whole thing is just unhealthy. I hate how other straight men automatically assume a gay person is hitting on them, whenever the gay speaks to them, like, no, you're not that attractive, mark, gays don't think oh, I want to f the shot of that guy every time they see another male. To be fair, that's how a lot of straight guys look at women. So I think they're just kind of assuming it goes for you too. Homophobia, the fear gay men will treat you the way you treat women. If anything that's a sign of the realest equality one could ask for. Their deep voices make me sound like a squeaker. You've had a dick for your entire life. Sit down if you cannot aim your piss. I'm a janitor. I'm pretty sure a few men just discovered it. I was a female janitor. Grown men miss and refuse to flush all the time. I think they do it on purpose. Do you do this on purpose? I honestly can't comprehend how someone could happily walk away after pissing all over the seat. Either lift the seat or sit the f down. If you sprinkle when you tinkle, be a sweetie and wipe the seat. -y. If you piss and spray the seat wipe it off you lazy fine pig. Some guys can't rhyme this. If you piss on the seat you are a refine a hole. For me, I sometimes get lazy or am not paying attention and will get some on the toilet seat. But I always wipe it off at home or public bathrooms. F dudes who don't wipe it off. I hate how the most confident guys are often the meanest. There are plenty of exceptions to this, but it happens too much. As a confident guy, okay, fight me fag. When they send dick pics to girls out of nowhere, it makes us all look bad. I'm just effing mind boggled that this is a thing. Almost everything about men I can understand, even if I don't agree, but unsolicited pictures of your dick, it doesn't even make sense. How could that possibly end well? It doesn't work and is creepy, but some people view it like firing a machine gun at a target. Sure you may only hit one target out of a thousand, but if you fire 10,000 bullets that's 10 targets hit. One possibility someone suggested that seemed plausible is that they are not expecting it to end well. They get off on the idea of someone looking at their dick in the first place. I use it as an opportunity to make myself look better. Somehow, I'm able to resist the urge to both take pictures of my darn and also to send it to an unsuspecting woman. I'm a paradigm of self-restraint. Amma, you meant paragon didn't you? Is that really why you don't do it? Or do you just have a tiny penis? The ones that cat call. This is why I hate going to the bar with my friend. Just this weekend at 1pm at a local packed bar he decided to practically yell look at the A on her then just stared at her. I asked him to shut the F up, but he stated out loud it makes all the other girls jealous. Needless to say we didn't talk to any girls the whole time we were there. I can't stand the guys that think every single woman on the planet wants them. I can't stand the guys that only ever talk about getting laid. And you're a B if you don't join in. I can't stand the guys that need to fight another guy for every little incredibly minor issue. On the opposite, face of the same coin I can't stand the guys who think every woman hates them. That mentality is the beginning of a negative downward spiral that leads to them resenting women and becoming one of the guys you mentioned point or worse. That she doesn't appreciate my aggressive advances. Must be a lesbian B attitude though. Dat do do. I remember one time I was in a hotel elevator with three guys and one girl. When the girl got out, if the elevator one of the guys said she was into him because she looked at him for a few seconds and he was totally serious about it. Oh, I do this with my friends, but it's in the most sarcastic way possible. For example, cute girl at McDonald's tells me to have a nice day. This obviously means that she wanted me. Then we argue with each other about how I know she liked me better than him. If you heard the conversation you might think we were serious, but we definitely aren't. We both know she did nothing to hint at attraction to us, but it's fun to argue about anything. 
Dudes that wear tap out shirts and fedoras point and say bro a lot. Dudes that wear tap out shirts and fedoras. Did you mean tap out shirts or fedoras? I'm trying to imagine someone wearing both and it's just too much. Apparently tap out makes fedoras. I'm so sorry, bro. Bro. Guys can't seriously talk about anything that bothers them. Holding everything in emotionally can be a pain. I'm not holding anything in. I just have the emotional range of milk carton. Most of what I hate about men is what I also hate about a lot of women. That alpha competitive shivery one keeps harping is not completely gender neutral. This is exactly why I hate working as a male nurse. It's mean girls. All day. Every day. This man's appendix is about to burst. Quick. Fetch a scalpel. Uck. Doctor. Stop trying to make fetch hap. Get the effing scalpel. I don't like the whole alpha male thing, where guys tend to try to top each other. I've done it a few times without thinking, and I cringed afterwards every time. Oh, yeah. Well I've done it a lot, and I cringed even harder. Oh yeah. Well I've got a bigger dick, and I fed your girl with it. To add to the alpha male thing, I hate the bar creeper gotta bring a girl home every night mentality that some guys have. I was at a bar about an hour before closing time talking to my really good friend and his girlfriend about random stuff. Then one of his friends comes at me like someone from Jersey Shore and starts asking me dude, why aren't you talking to any chicks? I replied that I didn't know and I'm just here to get drunk and have fun like a normal person. He comes back with you're supposed to get with chicks at bars. Didn't you know? You see that girl over there? Go talk to her. This guy was seriously bent out of shape because I wasn't at a bar to talk to girls and that they think you need guidance in picking up chicks. Mon bro. Just go talk to her now man. I'm fine bro. Mon. It's not hard. Don't be such a PSY I'm just enjoying my beer. Mon bro. J. Jesus Christ. Would you f off? Whoa. Why are you being so defensive? You got a problem with alpha males. Bro. Takes off my child. Size plain white singlet. Come at me bro. It's okay to top a dude. If he's a bottom though. Pound that a. Degree degrees. I hate that we aren't as up in arms about the difficulties facing boys and young men as women are about the difficulties facing girls and young women. I'm consistently impressed by all the women driven efforts to extend opportunities and support to girls. I'd like to see men tend to their young ranks with equal zeal. I'll concede the challenges are much different and that on balance it is harder to be a female in this world. However, it is getting better for women all the time. I honestly don't think the world is getting better for young men. It is more confusing. It is less understanding of traditional forms of masculine projection. Traditional male roles are being torn down. Probably for the better, but that doesn't leave young men with much in the way of role models. Nobody is going to stick up for boys, if not grown men. Boys need support, they need guidance, they need to be challenged, or else they grow up into selfish, lazy pigs. So, grown men, let's step up our game. Let's get more involved. You don't need to have a son to help raise a man. This was well said and opened my eyes a bit, since it's not a sentiment I see very often, which I suppose reinforces your point. Not to mention the dangerous likelihood for a message like yours to be wrongfully construed as some sort of retaliatory men's rights statement. It's not. It's just acknowledgement that developing males need guidance and role models too. And these days those role models seem well hidden between the attractive male heartthrobs, male sports icons politicians and the like. I'm a woman and I totally agree with this. My husband and I are thinking about having a kid, and it occurred to me that, if we have a girl, I'm pretty confident about how to tell her about how to keep from getting screwed over due to her gender. But if we have a boy I've got no clue. Girls who want to take on traditionally masculine roles have a whole cheering section. As do girls who want to take on traditionally feminine roles. Every imaginable gender disparity that works against girls has been analyzed to death. And if I couldn't tell my daughter how to work around it, but it probably could. But most people are just kind of uncomfortable about guys who want to do more traditionally feminine things. It's stupid. How do you navigate that minefield? Granted, we're well off. Educated white Americans surrounded by similar people. The calculus would be different if we lived in rural India or something, or were part of a different demographic. There are places in the world where it really, really blows to be a woman. 
but in my little microcosm of the world, I actually think it might be harder and more complicated to be a boy born in 2015. Honestly when I look at the suicide rates I feel like the world just throws men at the wall, and keep what sticks. Guys who treat women like the alien species incapable of being understood, or dealt with rationally, guys, they are just people, and more like you than they are different. Just talk to them. Take a chance, if you are interested, or treat them, like you would any other and a moth and a fur, if you ain't. The whole idea, that male friends have to constantly put each other down as a form of bonding. There's something to be said for being able to take a joke, and to laugh at yourself. But it seems like every time you get at least 4 guys together one of them becomes convinced he's Don F and Rickles. I don't mind this with a really close group of friends though. Being able to say anything to your buddy and take Shrike back is sometimes just a fun way to pass the time. Especially when you know each other's boundaries. I'm all for friendly banter. But there's always one prick who uses it as an excuse to bully. And if you call him out on it, he goes what? I'm just kidding around. A hole. Slut shaming. I do not get it. Don't we want women to bang us? Should we not exalt the slutty ones so that their peers may look to them as examples? I dunno. I just feel like we are working against ourselves sometimes. <laughs> <laughs>